We're excited to announce the general availability of Stitch's device fingerprinting for fraud and risk prevention. This solution provides the industry's most detailed understanding of every visitor attempting to access your application. It can be used as a standalone fraud and bot prevention tool, or it can be seamlessly integrated into Stitch's authentication infrastructure. While authentication tools for developers have become more and more common, they haven't kept up with the sophisticated threats we're seeing today. The attack surface now extends way beyond just bypassing the login screen. From creating fake user accounts to taking over and stealing your existing user credentials, attackers are using advanced techniques that make it harder to protect applications, especially those with PLG flows that allow free sign-up options. This is compounded by AI, making it possible for nearly anyone to launch a complex bot, fraud, or abuse attack. The tools that worked before simply don't work now. We used to rely on things like web application firewalls and CAPTCHA, but these are crude, blunt force approaches that add friction to the user experience and are now much easier to circumvent. Enter Stitch's device fingerprinting, a new approach that brings together standard and proprietary identifiers, from passive network TLS fingerprinting to active JavaScript signals. It's highly accurate and determined with four nines of accuracy, whether it's a bot or a real user. When you look at the response payload that Stitch returns for a visitor, you'll see a tiered approach to not only provide you a wide range of fingerprints, but highly unique fingerprints as well. Starting off with our most unique fingerprint, which is the visitor ID. This fingerprint is 100% unique to each individual user of your application. Next is the visitor fingerprint, which identifies each specific user without relying on cookies at all. Following that, we have the network fingerprint, which leverages in-depth network TLS signals. Then there's the hardware fingerprint, which represents each individual device based on extensive subdata associated with that specific device making it extremely unlikely for two devices to ever share the same identifier in a typical setting. Lastly, we have a browser fingerprint that identifies the exact browser type and version. The fingerprint is persistent across multiple sessions and is end-to-end -end encrypted to prevent reverse engineering. It stays reliable even if the user tries to hide their identity using methods like VPNs, proxies, and incognito mode. Stitch also detects more advanced techniques that other solutions won't catch, like stealth headless browsing and Tor exit nodes. Stitch not only identifies the visitor with unparalleled accuracy, but also provides clear action recommendations for your app, whether to allow, block, or challenge a request. So I'll run through a quick example here where Stitch's device fingerprinting is built into the login flow and I'm able to successfully authenticate through. You behind the scenes can see that this is a very basic auth scenario where the app isn't just collecting credentials, but it's also now collecting a telemetry ID, which is a client side reference of a fingerprint that's successfully collected. And once we've collected the telemetry ID from the user, it's then sent server side to look up the corresponding fingerprints for further verification. The first thing that's done server side is the telemetry ID is stripped from the request so that Stitch can then look it up and return not only the corresponding fingerprints, but also a block, challenge, or allow verdict. And in this case, if the verdict is anything but allow, we're making the decision to block that request server side. Otherwise, we'll proceed through Stitch to authenticate the user's credentials. So now what I'm going to run is a simple puppeteer script that simulates a low-grade credential stuffing attack, something a bad actor might use to try and gain access to your user's accounts. And once I run this script, you can see from the request that I'm denied access to the account. Let's take a look at the payload that was returned. In this case, you can see that Stitch returned a verdict of block, and the reason was user agent deception and headless browser automation. So in that case, we saw a block verdict. In other cases, a challenge verdict may be returned, where Stitch has identified some risk, but not enough to recommend a full block. In this case, how you react will depend on you and your risk tolerance. For example, you can require a step-up authentication method with Stitch, like SMS OTPs 
or Stitch offers a strong version of CAPTCHA that is invisible to the user and leverages fingerprinting to verify that the device served the CAPTCHA is the same device that completes it. By wrapping existing CAPTCHA providers and encrypting the return tokens with proprietary signals, it becomes impossible for CAPTCHA farms, AI tools, and automated bots to circumvent the challenge. Our latest features push the boundaries even further by combining supervised machine learning with device fingerprinting's deterministic rules-based approach. First, intelligent rate limiting. Traditional network rate limiting takes an all or nothing approach, which can harm legitimate users when trying to block bots. Stitch's rate limiting is smarter, using device fingerprinting to precisely control traffic and adapt in real time, ensuring a smoother experience for genuine users. The next new capability is a supervised machine learning model for device detection. So instead of relying only on publicly cataloged device information, Stitch can interrogate and assess the risk of any new device type that is unknown. This handles day zero threats and improves the user experience by reducing the number of blocked or challenged logins. Finally, Stitch introduces a security rules engine that lets you easily customize Stitch's allow, challenge, or block verdicts using the API or with a simple click in the Stitch dashboard. This powerful combination of deterministic fingerprinting and precision AI ensures that you catch new threats instantly, offering robust protection that traditional methods just can't match. And not only is it protecting your users in your app all the time, but you can follow along in a live dashboard to see how the threat landscape changes over time. No more CAPTCHAs or slowdowns, just effortless security that evolves with every challenge. Elevate your security with Stitch. If you're ready to secure your app or just want to turn on fingerprinting to see what your current threat profile looks like, head over to stitch.com to get started.